Hi there, Matiz here, and welcome to the fifth video in our Basics of Liquid Cooling series. Today we'll talk about one of the most important components for liquid cooling loop efficiency, the water blocks. Water blocks are heat exchangers that give off heat to the coolant, which transfers heat from its source to the radiator. To do that, they need to be mounted directly onto the PC components. The most popular water blocks are those for the CPUs and GPUs, since these crucial components generate the most heat. Many users also go for water blocks that cool RAMs, SSDs and different areas of motherboards. There are also monoblocks that cool both the CPU and the motherboard. We can split monoblocks into several categories, but the general term monoblock usually refers only to water blocks that cool the CPU and the VRM power delivery section of the motherboard. Full-board monoblocks usually extend to the PCH or the chipset of the motherboard, and even more extreme versions of such cooling solutions are called ultra-blocks, like the one implemented on the ASUS ROG Glacial motherboards. These cool several crucial components on the motherboard and implement flow meters, temperature sensors, screens, and so on. There are also very simple monoblock-style water blocks, like the EK Light block that is used on the MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo EKX motherboard. To find out more about these types of motherboard cooling solutions, visit the links in the video description below. While we're talking about different water block categories, we can also mention active backplate cooling solutions that became really important in the past year. High-performance graphics cards like the NVIDIA RTX 3090 have key components on the backside of the PCB, and currently the most advanced and elegant way to cool it is with the second generation of Vector2 GPU water blocks that implement active cooling to the backside of the GPU as well. Now the question is, which one to choose? Obviously, the most advanced ones are the best cooling solutions, but there are really no firm rules here. It all depends on each user's individual needs. Let's all just state again that the liquid-cooled components have multiple benefits. Improved performance, prolonged lifespan, silent operation, and of course, greater overclocking potential. Now, if going for a full custom loop liquid cooling setup seems too much for you for your first step into liquid cooling, there are other options available, like the AIOs. These are all-in-one, pre-assembled and pre-filled liquid coolers that require no maintenance, except for dusting the fans once in a while, and they're super easy to install. There are also kits that can make your leap into the world of custom loop liquid cooling easier by packing everything you need in one box so you don't have any questions and issues with incompatibility of components. One of the amazing benefits of liquid cooling is that it offers many customization options. Choosing which components to cool with water blocks is the first step. The second step is to pick the right water block for each of these components. In general, water blocks are made to fit a specific series of CPUs, GPUs, motherboards or other components. This specific GPU water block, for example, is made to fit multiple reference design NVIDIA GeForce RTX Ampere-based graphics cards, such as the RTX 3080, the 3080 Ti and the 3090. Users can and should always check which water block is compatible with their PC hardware with the EK Configurator, a vast database of compatibility that is updated on a daily basis. And once you have the right water block for your PC, you can also choose what material or finish you want and what product line suits your wishes the best. Almost all water block bases are made from copper, which has a distinctive reddish-brown color. Most water blocks are then plated with a fine layer of nickel to get a shiny and attractive silver color. So are there any performance differences between the copper and nickel-plated copper water blocks? Nope. But our users choose the nickel-plated blocks for their aesthetics and the additional corrosion protection they provide. Now on to the second part of the water block the top. And once again, there are no performance differences between the materials. Users choose acetal or plexi tops based on the aesthetics and maintenance. Plexi, as we call it by short, is acrylic glass, and it's translucent and thus allows the visual inspection of the internals. Plus, it shows coolant for an additional layer of aesthetics. On the other hand, acetal, also known as the POM, offers higher chemical wear resistance and higher impact strength. If you plan to be rough with your water block, Acetal is a better choice. Here at EK we offer various product lines of water blocks to suit every taste. For example, when it comes to CPU water blocks, our users can choose between the market-proven best-seller Velocity line or our flagship water blocks of the Magnitude line. 
If you're one of those people that likes to live in the moment, then just go with the Momentum to keep cool not just the CPU, but also the motherboard. There are plenty of choices. We'll stop here for this video, but don't forget to come back for the next one, where we'll discuss how to properly maintain the water blocks to get the most of them. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, stay cool.